Okay, we're going to do a common type of uh, physics problem here that you might see, and it's uh, in, the, in the momentum unit, and we'll call it like the exploding bomb problem. All right. And it kind of goes like this. So a bomb explodes <laughs> into three pieces. By the way, it could be more than three pieces, but we'll do a three-piece example into three pieces, okay? Um, the initial weight of the bomb or the bomb was 40 kilograms. A 20 kg piece lies north at uh, 200 meters per second. A 10 kg piece lies east. 150 meters per second. Calculate the velocity of the final piece. So in a problem like this, a couple of things that you should notice, right? The first thing is that momentum is zero before the explosion, right? So what that means is momentum after has to sum to zero as well, okay? Um, and it has to be dealt with in terms of momentum. You can't start dealing in terms of, say, velocities, because only momentum is conserved. I mean, mass is conserved. We can pretty quickly figure out what the last piece must weigh. Um, but yeah, so what I do probably first is I would draw a picture of this. So a 20 kg piece flies north at 200 meters per second. So let's imagine that we have our little bomb here. Draw one of these kind of bombs from like cartoons. I wonder like when in history bombs actually looked like that. Pretty iconic look for a bomb. Maybe. I think this is what grenades looked like at one point in history, too. Okay, yeah. Yeah, 40 kilogram grenade is maybe a little too much. Okay, uh, so... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, not bad, eh? Join up, you be 18. There's a prize for 19. Okay, let's see here. All right, so, so once this fuse, you know rolls down, this is what's going on. So we have an explosion, we have a piece flying, uh, this was the fuse, that's what it's meant to look like, flying this way, so it's 20 kgs, and it's flying north at 200 meters per second. So we're just kind of filling in our picture here, and uh, if you have a look, there's one more piece unaccounted for, uh, and it must weigh 10 kilograms by deducing the fact that if this weighed 40, the sum of its pieces would have to add up to 40. And being the intelligent human beings that you are, which direction would you expect that last piece would probably have to blast off at? Well, yeah. So I'm saying it's got to go off in this direction. Why do I think that? Well, if you imagine that this is sitting still, the sum of all of the um, momentums uh, has to add up to zero. So this plus this plus this should add up to zero. Okay? And let's just kind of see that, see how that would work. Okay? And then we've got um, some velocity here, and we don't know what it is. Okay? So let's just convert this into being um, momentums so that we can then work with it. Because remember, it's not 
velocity, this is meant to be the exploding explosion in the middle here, okay? Um, it's not anything but momentum that is conserved. I mean, mass is conserved, the total amount of mass doesn't change, but some people often try to do a problem like this with just velocities. That's not gonna work, okay? So the first thing you gotta do is change these into their appropriate momentums, okay? Oops. So let's do that. Um, so we'll call this P1, and that's 200, so 400, 4,000 kilogram meters per second, and that's north. And then we've got P2, 1,500 kilogram meters per second this way. I hear what you're saying back there, and I like it. And then this is question mark, okay? So let's quickly do, like, if we can, a bit of a scale drawing here. So we've got 4,000 in the upward direction, right? Okay, so that's you know, our largest vector. We've got 1,500 over to the right. And what that means is the final vector here must be this, right? Because that's going to bring us back to a resultant momentum equal to zero. So this is the guy we're trying to find right in here, okay? So we've got 4,000, 1,500, and then this. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to sum these two vectors, and that will, if I sum them, we'll get something pointing up and to the right, okay? But then we're going to realize that to keep it at zero, we have to do the reverse or the opposite of that value that we get, okay? If this were more complicated, if like say I had an angle here, well what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to do your sum of x's and sum of y's like we would normally do, and then find the reverse vector of that, okay? And there'll be an example of one of those in your work, okay? So we can directly go from here, and the first thing that we're probably going to want to do is use Pythagorean theorem to figure out the momentum of the final piece, okay? And you have to always remember we're dealing in momentum right now. So the momentum of this value, we'll call it P3, it's going to end up being the root of this. And, okay, so you end up with uh, about 4272, which is pretty specific. I think 4300 would be fair, but 4272, and then we also need an angle. Um, What's that? What would this angle be 45 degrees? No. The only way you'd have a 45 degree angle is if both of these were equal, right? So they're not equal, so you're not going to have a 45 degree angle. Um, so in order to find that, right, we've got opposite, opposite over adjacent. So what we want is we want the inverse tangent of opposite over adjacent. And that should give us that angle there. <laughs> 69 degrees. Okay, so 69 degrees. And that angle is south of uh, west. Okay, now, that is pointing down here, right? But what we actually really want is we want the, op the opposite of... Oh, no, no, sorry. That is exactly what we want. We're good. That's exactly what we want. My mistake. Okay, so what we would say then is we would say the final momentum of this guy, of the final piece, is 4272 kilogram meters per second at 69 degrees south of west. That's the direction it's flying. Or you could also, you know, um, do this guy here, right? Which would be, what, 21 degrees? I think west of south, 21 degrees west of south, okay? Um, and then we're not quite done because we want the velocity. And if we know that P equals M times V, then V should be equal to P over M. So V equals momentum divided by mass. And lucky for us, it's 10 kgs. Your final velocity of the final piece, 427.2 uh, meters per second. 21 degrees west of south. Are there any questions about a problem like that? <laughs>